welcome to Back Issues. I'm Tiffany. I'm Ethan. And I'm Ben. And Sal's not here, but it's because he was a ghost. Yeah. Right. And you busted him. I did bust him. So he's gone. So get no, used to this. No, no. He'll... We, we put... I put in a call to a friend. What? Yeah, he's gonna handle it. Oh. Yeah, He's cool. gonna... He's gonna handle what it? What does that mean? Just don't worry about it. <laughs> Most of the time that I'm sitting on this couch, we're either doing a Brian K. Vaughn book, mm. or we're doing a Doctor Strange book. Mm. Both of which I like. We're doing so which different. is it this time? But today it's a Doctor Strange book. Ah! How but I don't like it. Oh! <laughs> this, this would be the first book that you didn't like that you're doing, right? I'm not a fan. Issues. I'm not a fan of this incarnation. You know oh what boy. this is right now? It's strange! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, and like, you. you know what? People might like this run. I'm not a fan. I'm just not a fan of it. Hmm. Straight up. This is... Is Doctor Strange like really unpopular and like everyone's like Doctor Strange sucks. Well, Nobody um, likes Doctor Strange. Well, really, this is um. Because is... that would explain why you don't like it. No, it's the <laughs> you'll you'll. There are a lot of reasons I don't like that. We'll go into it. But this is uh, the J. Michael Straczynski run of Strange. You know, okay. Babylon Five yeah. creator and writer. The genius behind Babylon Five. Yeah, yeah. wrote this exactly. A lot um, of people like Babylon Five. Careful, man. No, it's true. It's true. And um, I didn't. He did this with Sarah Barnes as a co-writer on this. And, co-writer. Yeah, and um, it, the art's done by a, what is it? Brandon Peterson. I have to always consider that because there's Peter David, David Peterson, and Brandon Peterson all working in the comic book mm. industry. So every time I come into any, like, I'm like. Eh. What? Which one is this? Yeah. Then, then there has to be a Peter Branson and a Bran Branson and a Peter Peterson. <laughs> and, a, and a David Branson and a... And a David Davidson. And a Brandon Davidson. And a Bran David stop us. Peters. Peter no, stop! <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's my understanding um, that this was a book that Straczynski always wanted to write. He always wanted to tell this strange story. Mm. <laughs> and that's what's so sad. <laughs> okay, do, would you when think that out? this what is we, a... 2005. Okay. Is this like a first idea kind of story? <laughs> like this a is... lawyer? Like he had a dream one night and he's like, I have to yes, write the book this... exactly like my dream. No, that is not what this is. I have a feeling this was a running idea and it's influenced by a lot of the pop culture around him. Mm. And So it's totally timeless. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like Shakespeare. Yeah, exactly. Like... Oh, Doctor Strange fixes the Y2K problem. Exactly. Um, it's par- published under the Marvel Knights publishing label, which was used for like... Lesser books. No! <laughs> yes. No! No, because Garth Ennis's Punisher run started there, and yeah. then it went into oh. Marvel Max. It was just an imprint where they put other stories that were going on, and they could be continuity or they could not be continuity. Like, depending on how okay. people liked it. Yeah, if they wanted to use it. Or right. who cares? <laughs> or if it screwed up continuity, then it wouldn't be in continuity. Right. Yeah. Or whatever. Or shut up. Or fuck Just you. buy the book. Yeah. Or they're facts. Right, exactly. <laughs> so this is right. this is literally it's a it's a six, six issue six run. Issues. That's right. it. Um, How's the art? That's fine. Okay. Um I was gonna say if the art was bad, that would also explain why you didn't like fi- it. It's very set in its time period. Mm, okay. okay. It reminds me a little bit of Bagley, a little bit in his faces, so whatever. Um, so Is this Doctor Strange here on the cover? Yeah. Oh. He's not wearing his getup. What's happening? Well, he's wearing a like red another jacket. origin story for Doctor Strange? So our story begins in the mountains of Tibet. Mm. Um, where so yes. Stephen Strange <laughs> yes. is a young man. Okay. And he's in med school. Oh. And he is in this village providing care. Okay. Essentially. It's like, hmm. you know, they send a bunch of med students over and they get this opportunity to, like, help people out because they don't have like doctors, doctors there. Doctors without and... borders kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, and, you know, while he's there, like, it, it's, you know, again, um, he, um, he's there, again, with his classmates and in particular a friend of his, the, the red-haired guy, um, his name's Devin, and... Oh, it's not Baron Mordo. <laughs> no, his friend is Devin. <laughs> And um, Devin's like, oh, there's going to be a party. And, like, you're going to be honored and all this stuff here before we leave. And who cares, right? Yeah. And he's like, but before we go, we have to go check on this orphan, essentially, who they've been treating and stuff like that. Like, essentially, the the care that they're giving for people never ends because they have no care usually. So, like, it's nonstop. Right, right. So, like, even when they're going to be leaving, there's always people there. And they're like, right. we got to cut it off at some point. But, like, anyone who had been in their care, they'll finish it up so they go back to check on this kid and um the kid doesn't talk because he's traumatized 
Because mm. presumably they think that his parents were slaughtered in front of him. No. Oh. And so, like, he's just, like, he doesn't speak, right? Right. And he's like, I'm going to come back at 5 o'clock to check on you because i got to go to this party. And Meanwhile, you know, this kid is Tibetan. He's like, I don't understand English. He's like, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about. So he's like, hey, hey, Devin, give me your watch because my watch is too expensive to give him this kid and you got a cheap <laughs> watch. Give me your watch. So he takes the watch, nice. he gives it to the kid and he's like, my, my wife gave me this watch. I don't, it's actually going to fall They're in college. <laughs> um... <laughs> They're they're all in med school. I'm sorry, they're in med school. Yeah, he could be married. So, um, yeah, but he's not. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets to get the watch and like he tries to explain it and he's like, "All right, we'll come back." Uh, it was was seen a little bit long, and they go to the party and like one of their professors is there, their professor doctor because he's a doctor. Okay. And um, he they just kind of they ch- chat about the fact that it's like, "Hey, look." This is, like, this is cool and stuff like that. And, like, Strange is like, I'm so happy we went here because, like, I really, like, get it now. I get what I want to do. I want to help people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whoa, this is very different from the Strange that I well, remember right, telling you about. Right, 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 right. And um, he's like, he's like, I want to come back here. Like, when I'm all done, like, I want to come back here and I want to help them. And he's like, every year a student says that. Yep. And they never and do. they never do. <laughs> and they get really famous and they start making money. Yeah. And then they get magic. No. Um, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I hope you prove me wrong. Cool, whatever. Prove me wrong. All right. Um, I did forget to mention that before they go to the party, uh, Strange um, goes outside with his friend, and they're like, oh, it's finally not raining, because apparently it's been raining and I'm like crappy the entire time they've been there. Okay. Don't slip and break your hands. Well, I just like the fact that it's like, now that you're leaving, the sun is out. Yeah. Goodbye. It's, it's like the world is happy that you're yeah, That you're getting out of here. The world is happy that they've come and provided services. Like, we're healthy now. It can stop raining. Yeah. I guess. But he looks up onto the mountain, and there's like a temple. He's oh. like, I've never noticed that temple before, have you? And he's like, no. He's like, I'm going to go look at it before this party oh. that I have to go to. Dude, okay. Dr. Strand, Steve, Steve, that that thing's like at least five hours away. Nah, it's okay. I'm going to go and come back. It's going to be great. Oh, you are going to be so there. gross for well, the party. Well, he doesn't, he doesn't get there. He runs oh. into this old man. And okay. like, he's like, I don't want to slow you down. But like, you know, we're both going the same way. And Steven's like, all right. So they're just talking. And he's like talking about him being a doctor. And he's just like, so like... You know, did you like, do you want to be a doctor? And he's like, I am a doctor. And he's like, that's not what I asked you. I said, do you want to be a doctor? Mm. And he's just like, yeah, I made like a promise. And I'm going to keep it and like blah blah blah. And they talk about how he got there and stuff like that and how Wait, like he made a promise to who? There's like this. They show a picture of him with a girl. There's an ambiguous panel. He's, like, hugging her. And he's just like, I guess it just all worked out, huh? And like the guy's like, yeah, that that happens. <laughs> you sound really enthusiastic about <laughs> helping people, right? No, he is. I'm just not. And then Devin <laughs> shows up and he's like, hey. What are you doing? We're going to be late. And he's like, oh, I was talking to this old man. And the old man's gone. Ooh. Oh, this ancient old man. Yeah, this ancient yes. individual. This old individual. Mm. A singular individual who's old. Yep. One might even say that they are. No. So they go back to the States and um, like he makes a promise to Wong that he'll come back. Because like, Wong's like, could you take me with you? basically oh, to like the temple? He, he starts talking oh, to no. home back yeah to he's America. like i want to come like he starts talking and he requests that he goes to america or at least that Stephen comes back and he's like i'm gonna come back or i'm gonna try to do everything i can he can't bring him with him right so he's like i'm gonna come back and then three years pass okay and Stephen and Devin are graduating and um they're at a party this guy's go to a lot of parties yes. um and you know they're talking about making choices and stuff like that and like you know like so which path will you choose and they're actually just talking about two chicks like will it be a redhead or a blonde um <laughs> And, and Steve's like, I will go for the strawberry cream mix. Well, he, yeah, he pretty much is like, I, when you're this good, why do you have to choose? <laughs> oh, damn. So I'm a neurosurgeon, man. Wow. Well, hang on. The guy who was in Tibet is also there. Oh, right? oh like the, the mentor the, the guy? Mentor, the doctor, the professor. He's a doctor, but whatever. He's also like their, their, their teacher. Yeah. And he gives Strange a really hard time because oh. he's like, you have all these gifts and like you could be helping people and saving the world, but instead you're not going to go into that. And like, you're a jerk and you never went back and saw Wong and like all this <laughs> stuff. Right. And like, I just want you to know that every time that we send people over there and a plane lands there, he thinks you're on it. And he holds that hope that you're going to come back. Oh. He has written me so many cards. Right. That's and so like, sad. and like strangers, like gets really mad because he dared to make him feel bad. And yeah. he's just like, you're just jealous of me because I'm awesome and you suck and you're just here teaching in these, <laughs> oh, these walls what? here and you're gonna you're gonna live and die at this campus. And you're old and wrinkly and I'm gonna have a threesome. And then he leaves and he's like, I'm a jerk. 
I shouldn't have said that. Mm. But I'm still going to go have that threesome. Right? <laughs> and like they're like, just talk to him tomorrow, right? Well, okay. tomorrow never comes for that guy. Because that guy gets into his car, and he has a car accident. Oh. And he dies. Oh. So. It's a fiery car accident. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a very extreme car accident. They go to the funeral. It was a Pinto. <laughs> yeah. He had this weird thing where he liked to cover his car in gasoline. Um, it makes it go faster. He liked the a smell of it. Serious mistake. Uh, yeah, we've seen it before. Oh yeah. Um, because they go to the funeral Happens. and like this weird, like this weird, mysterious chick is there, but like nobody notices her. Then we fast forward three more years. Oh. And Strange is now a, a famous plastic surgeon. Um, so we completely. And this is where all right, I've already had. A, so it's already a totally different. It is and it isn't, and that's yeah. what frustrates me. It also frustrates me because. The importance, in my opinion, like, I, uh, here's the thing. I get where he's going with this. Because he's just like, no, like, Strange is such a narcissist that he went this route because, like, all he cares about is money and blah, 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 right? Yeah, fine, whatever, I get it. But making, like, Strange a neurosurgeon gives him a god complex because he's holding life and death in his hands. You know what I mean? And, and his hands are that much more important. They have to be so freaking precise and Yeah, and, and, like, and it's only those who can, like, he's literally saving lives, but only the lives who can afford him. You yeah. know, like... Taking this out, I think, diminishes, like, his ego in a sense. You yeah, know what I mean? Definitely well, does. he's still ruining lives. It's also, it's like, just, you know, they're ugly. It's also, like, the most obvious, like, change. I know. It, it's, and, like, like, Dr. Strange is kind of a dick, so right. let's a plastic But surgeon. don't forget, two years earlier than this, um, that show Nip Tuck came out. Oh, yeah. Oh, bad yeah. move. So, um, You could say this changes skin deep. Right? Like, what What the hell? Well, the book went for the obvious choice they did. and what to do with it, and Ben went for the obvious choice. It's very choice. true. It's very, yes, yes. You Ben's, just, this book. Ben's in the... <laughs> I am so into Nipsa. <laughs> he's a huge fan of this book, and he's just in the spirit of this. Um, So, there's this old woman who, like, wants, like, more plastic surgery, and he's like, there's just no more skin. Um, <laughs> but he finds a way to do it, and she's like, by the way, like, I am supposed to go on this vacation to the Alps, and I can't go. Uh, Here, go. Take a friend. Oh, nice. So, he and his friend, Devin, go out there, and then there's, the like... Swiss Alps, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, and then there's, like, twins involved, and then, like... Yeah. For... See? Sexy ladies. Yeah, sexy lady twins. Yeah, that's right. And then for no reason, Doctor Strange goes night skiing with a <laughs> flashlight. Why would he do that? Well, it is a full moon, and on snow, you can see a good distance. And I then, can get that. And then, right. and then, but he's still an idiot. And then he... He, he gets into his... It's real. Remember, real hurt. remember when Doctor Strange got into his horrible ski accident that <laughs> crippled his his hands? Crippled his hands? No, because it wasn't. Well, because but it's right here, Ben. It was a terrible car accident. No, Did you hear that you'd screw up your hands in a ski accident? Is that a thing? Yeah. No, they said that the problem was that, like, you know, like, like, you know, naturally we put our hands out in front of us when we go to fall. Well, that is a true. And that that's what destroyed his hands. Um, it's snow though, so. Well, there's like. A couple of rocks. He kind of hits a rock, I guess. Or maybe. Or who cares? <laughs> this was all in the first issue? Yeah. Yep. Wow. They, they I thought we were the, at least on number two so far. Bob Dylan quote. Yeah. Any man not busy being born is busy dying. It's a good yeah. song. That's from. So, we, we see Strange in the hospital... And this blonde shows up... Who he is, is not... on tubes? Yeah, this was literally the most extreme skiing accident wow. where you didn't die. <laughs> yeah, his, or hit a tree. His hands, his head, and his leg are all effed up. Well, that's like a standard, that's a standard ski accident. Yeah, but the fact yeah, that he's on a is. ventilator. Yeah. Well, yeah like, got, when they, did they find him? If it his, looks like he had a head injury, so that... They, like, oh, yeah, he's wearing the brace he, around his head, It, it was a while. He was out there for well, a while, it was apparently. was remote area, so, yeah, he might have had, like, blood loss. So. I don't know. Right? So then this blonde shows well, up. Well, a bear came along and started eating him. <laughs> yeah. Well, first he tried to seduce it because it was a female bear. <laughs> he's like, hey, why not? It'll get me warm. Right? <laughs> she was having none of that. Um, and it's not one of the twins, even though it very much looks like one of the twins. Yeah. Um, no, we're introduced to Rachel. You know, Rachel Strange. Rachel! His sister. Oh. Uh, does what? he have a sister? Now he does. Oh. That's weird. And she's really worried about him. <laughs> Book rushing page flip. <laughs> so they're just changing everything. Yes, and not. Because we still have to have the accident that cripples his hands. Wait, that's what this is, right? Yeah, but why I'm just saying, he like, but like you oh. still have to have that. Why does he look like he's already 50? Uh, because the artist had a moment. Because he's really mad. Well, being in a skiing accident ages you like 20 years. Yeah. 
Cause, that is some cause, severe shadowing. Because you're scared and cold. Right. Well, he's like, he's all mad and upset because, right. like, the doctor's telling him all the things that went ha wrong with his hand and how, right. like, with physical therapy, you may have 50 to 60% of your, your usage back. Oh. In one hand. Bad, but you'll never hold a scalpel again. Oh. Oops. Right. So they decide to do the physical therapy and, like, you know, he doesn't want to see anybody and he like, he's like, get the hell away from me, like, Rachel. You suck. <laughs> Rachel, who I just met. No, no, it's his sister. That's right. Yeah, it's his sister. Get oh, the... Hey, a Battlefront she's dad. The... Yeah. There's something good about this book. Yeah, that's a great. Nice. Game. Devin and Rachel are like, we should have to be there for him. And Stranger's like, no. And then Devin and Rachel get together. No, <laughs> they do not. And Stranger's no, like, don't. I don't even know why I'm upset. So then. Um... Congratulations to both of you. <laughs> <laughs> so then. Like, in every Strange Origin story, he's like, I refuse to accept my fate, so right. he goes on a whirlwind tour to find someone who can help him, so he does do find that. someone with as much skill as he has. Right. Like, whoa, whoa, almost. Ironically, because I was the best. The only person that could have fixed my hands was me. No! That's why it's so tragic. Because even if, alright, he's normally a neurosurgeon, and he's not, and, he's and not. I was a plastic surgeon, so no, no. <laughs> Then he, he goes all, like, all over the place, all these different countries, and he's gone for months, and like he spends his entire fortune. He has a fortune? He had a fortune? Oh, yeah. Well, he's a, he's a plastic surgeon. Oh. But he was only working for like three years or something. Yeah, no. He's he's incredibly talented. Oh, I see. Top man. <laughs> yeah. He's very good. I see. At what he does. Right. He's like uh, he's like Wolverine. He's the best at Wolverine. Yeah. Well, didn't you see that? Didn't you see that apartment? He's looking look at this. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Right? Like, he, has, he has so much room. He, he has like three windows with, with no furniture by it. Like, that's how much that's, room he has. That seems like a very nip-tuck scene right That there. is a right. Lex Luthor scene. Oh, that's also that. Yeah. yeah. So, he ends up in Vienna, and, like, he's, like, he has no more money. He's just, like, stuck yeah. there. And, um, <laughs> this dude shows up, and, like, is like, oh, my gosh, it's Stephen Strange. How are you? And he's what? like... Who? And, and like, he, he's like, I was in Tibet when you were there, and you inspired me oh. to, like, go on and, like, help people. Like, and I work with Doctors Without Borders. And, like, thank oh. you so much for being so cool. And he's like, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you, guess, got, you got guess, five dollars? I guess I was pretty cool. <laughs> well, he's like, he's like, what are you doing here? And he's just like, oh, I'm just having a moment. I, somebody stole my wallet. Mm-mm. <laughs> Yeah. And, and he's like, and my passport, and yeah, all my, and my, money. and my, like all my stuff, and they empty all my bank the accounts, the middle knuckles yeah. out of all of my fingers, which is why I can't really use yeah, them. Yeah, and my talent. Um, <laughs> and, he's, and he's like, oh, that sucks. That's too bad. And he gives him some money. Oh, and then like Strange is like, by the way, did you ever find out? Like, did you ever hear from Wong? And he's like, Wong's been dead for five years. No, and he's like, well, don't you know? Like, didn't you go back and see yeah. him? Like you promised. Like you said you would. <laughs> and he's like. Duh. No. Okay. Oh man! Yes. I can't believe he's you did great. that. Wong really liked you. Yeah, no. And he's like, "Well, I heard that he followed your footsteps and he went into medicine, but like alternative medicine out there, uh -oh. because as we all know, alternative Wong certainly is that type of of character usually, right? And on top of that, he specializes in hands. Oh, like acupuncture for hands." I don't know! Oh. No, he's a chiropractor. He's gonna crack your knuckles. Oh. So. I'm gonna just crack your fingers until they're better. So okay. he's like, I have to go to See Tibet. Long. He goes to Tibet, he gets there, and everything's gone. Oh shit, the like, whole village? Everything is destroyed. It's a good thing he wasn't there. Well, it was like a, there, yeah, right? Good thing he went back on his word. <laughs> right? And there's like a guy there, oh. right? And he's like, what happened? He's like, the government came. And he's what? like, and I'm like, oh, what, wait, what government? Which government? And they're like, he, they said they were the CIA. And I'm like, wait, what? What? In Tibet? I don't know. This guy's like, look, I'm just a guy on a mountain. Hey, like, I'm just charged to take care of the lands of my children. So give me a break here, okay? Okay. And, and like, he's like, oh, okay. Hey, by any chance, do you know a guy named Wong who, like, couldn't talk? And now he can talk? Do you know him? And he's like, I do. <laughs> I've oh, heard, Wong! Everyone knows I've heard Wong! of such a man, and he said if an American ever came looking for him to give you this piece of paper. It just says, fuck you! So here you go. <laughs> I expected that. No. Is Where were you? It's just, there's an address on it. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, it's uh, 307 Go Fuck Yourself Lane. It's, yeah, no. Is it, it in the U.S.? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's in New York. 
So it's, he had to go to Tibet to figure out he needed to go to New York. Oh, yeah, York. and it's two blocks away from his house. Oh. So he had to go all the way around the world to go two blocks. Yeah, and he had, he had to ruin his, his oh. entire fortune. And Wong's been next to him right under his nose the whole time. Right. Oh, isn't it ironic? Don't you think? <laughs> um, yeah, and there's his office, Dr. Stephen Wong. You okay. took his name. Right? And like the, the office is closed, and then uh, Steve hears some singing. Okay. And he follows it. Like you do. Because because we have to get to the next location. Right. And it's a bar called Tibet. <laughs> what? And when he gets what? in there when he gets in there, he meets this woman and he's like, You're the lady I saw at the the funeral. Oh. And she whispers in his ear, Come with me if you want Wait, to live. The funeral? <laughs> what? Come with me if you want to live. Yeah. She says, Come with me if you want to live. And then it's revealed that um, she's Clea. Who's Clea? Okay, so for those who don't know who Clea is, Clea is... Um, uh, Alright, so Clea was invented essentially like, I want to say like 16 issues after Doctor Strange came on the scene. She's part <laughs> of Faultine, which is actually one of the spells that uh, Strange casts. And her mother is Umar. And Umar <laughs> is a jerk. Um, and Clea actually doesn't know that that's her mom, and, like, like Clea is from the Dark Dimension. Oh. And the Dark Dimension is often ruled by Dormammu. Okay. You said one thing that I recognized, and it was Dormammu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hang on. We're dark gonna, Dimension, hang on. you've talked about the Dark Dimension we're not, we're not done yet. So, um, Clea is, uh, Clea and, and Strange have, end up having a, a relationship, and it's kind of like that, like, you know, Romeo and Juliet style, or like a, you know... Jets of the Sharks, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, okay. like we're from wrong sides of the track. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, towards each other. Yeah, yeah, but they like each other, and like oftentimes um, Umar uses Clea against Strange, but then like Umar finally reveals that she is, is Clea's mother, and it's like, ah, how could you do this? Um, also, Dormammu is, is her uncle. Oh, and, whoa. Um, <laughs> That's some bad family blood right there. Yeah, this gets way weirder <laughs> because like inevitably, like Umar realizes that like, she, like okay, Stephen and Clea get married, but like in the dark dimension. So like they're like. She's not recognized here in the U.S. So they can't uh, yes, no. <laughs> they're like they're bound to each other oh. in a sense. So like when she when like Umar magically. hurts, yeah, strange it hurts Clea. So then like Umar's like I better stop doing that. So then they fight Dormammu together, and like Umar ends up like banging Baron Mordo. Oh. So that's weird too. Well, if you're gonna okay. if you're gonna get with Doctor Strange, I'm just gonna bang his enemy. Yeah. Mom! Gross! <laughs> yeah, so that's Clea. Usually she wears an all-purple outfit and she's got white hair, but she's like the great love of, of like Doctor Strange's life and therefore my enemy and hated nemesis. Um, <laughs> okay. And then she so changes what is her she name this? to Cleo well, in the this, 90s and she's a fortune teller. In this book, she has black hair and looks like Trinity. Anyway, <laughs> so... Because of the yep. Matrix. Yes. I think that was the... Yeah, that was it. So, like, there are these dudes. This guy has, like, the same hair as the twins Whoa. and Rachel. <laughs> yeah. Or a professional wrestler. Right. Look, anyone who's blonde has to have very that's, curly that's long okay, hair. okay, because his hair sets on fire, inevitably. Um, <laughs> but, like, she pulls out, like, two blades, because all these guys are, um... they're like to jump them. Well, yeah, they're, like, demons. So, like, oh. they're there to get strange and stuff like that. And then Why? Because we're going to find out. We're going to find out, man. Really? Come on. And then... Like they like, there's this weird scene where Doctor Strange is is outside or inside because there's a table, but then there's a car, and then they're outside, but the car hits him inside. But don't forget that table. So what? I don't know. I'm moving on. So then she the car busts through the wall. I don't know. Or not? Or who cares? <laughs> because. Whatever. So wow. So this guy's like a demon or something. Oh yeah, no, they're all just, demons. He didn't just catch on fire. He no, no, no. They're they all fire. all four of the all, all uh, three of them were, were demons, right? And they were. She's driving the car. Yeah. Was she yeah. like? It's she, her car, right? Yeah. Was she like? She's left, inside. And then she wants to run outside. Yeah, so you didn't see that. that car. Yeah. You don't you see that, that part. Or she used magic. Or who cares? Oh, it's magic. Well, fuck you. Oh, yeah. Kit. So then, like, she's like, get in, and and they they head off, and like, she's like. He's like, what was that? That's a Nissan 350Z. I see they uh, put a little product placement in there. Is it actually, can you actually read that it's Nissan? Well, it's the body style. All right. And that's the logo for Nissan. Well, maybe they just didn't want to, like, draw a unique car. They just 
described a magazine. Hey, you guys want to know what those demons are, or you want to talk about this car? It's, well, Ben brought up the car. <laughs> I, was just, I just want to know. He's, he's, it's very, he's making a bold statement well, that that is product placement. I'm just saying they could have just been lazy artists. It's very specific. <laughs> they're low walkers, and they are just demons, and they're there to get him because like he low got... Low walkers? Yeah. What, what is that? They never explain that. Oh, it's not an established thing. They're pro my guess is they're low on the totem pole in, in terms of demon I see. Hood. Like, maybe they're not full demon. They're like low walkers. They're, they yeah. can come to our world easily. Yeah. Or, okay. or who cares? Yeah. It, don't you just think it's cool? That guy set on fire. Didn't you see that part That's where awesome. he was on fire? Yeah. And his hair turned into fire? His hair turned into fire. His wavy, his, beautiful locks his, turned into yes, fire. Yes, his lustrous locks. Um, but all like, right. it's probably cause he got too close to Wong and like all that stuff. So then she takes him, um, to this alleyway and he's like, I've never seen this alley in my life. Jesus Christ. There are so many ads. Like it's like every yeah. other page yeah, is an ad. Crazy. I know. I know that. Um, it's very distracting. Right. Exactly. So, you know, he's like, I wanted to find Wong because like everything's like gone for me and stuff like that. And she's just like, oh no, that's right. He, he says that he's never seen this alley before. And, and she makes fun of him for having a Mercedes and he's like, oh, that's gone. Because I lost my hands, and huh, this is like a, I wasted all it's my a money completely on unnecessary search. conversation, but we have to have it, right? right. So like, okay. whatever. So then they go inside, and like, it's like huge and huh, and whatever. And Wong it's like is a big there, fancy building, yeah. But and like, Wong is there, and Wong is there, and Wong is like, I missed you, and it's so great to see you, and I wish it was on better terms, and blah blah blah, and like, so and look Wong at my is giant the key to everything, kind of, but no. Oh. Um, and Steven's like, I'm so sorry, I never came back, and all that stuff, and like. But I, I, I hear you're a hand specialist, so can you help me? Huh. So, like, immediately he goes from, like, I'm so sorry to, like, yeah, but... But I seriously need your help. But, right like, now. you gotta fix this, because I gotta yeah. make money. How desperate is Dr. Strange that he's going in for alternative medicine? He's, a, like, trained... Like... Well, usually what happens is Strange goes all around the world looking for a cure for his hands, and when no one can help him, he hears about, essentially, a mystical cure in the mountains of Tibet. And he's, like, and I'm he so seeks... desperate. Yes, and yeah. that's it. Like, he's just, like, science has failed me. Right. I'm at the end of my rope. Yeah, like he's he's literally at the end of his rope, and like mm -hmm. to him, that's like a, like a step down. Where he's just yeah. like, "Am I really doing this?" And he goes to seek the ancient one, okay. not Wong, not fucking not Wong. Wong. <laughs> so the song had no real correlation to anything. Like it were the lyrics special in some I don't, way. Maybe, maybe. maybe I don't know. Maybe music seems to have a weird hold on this. Is the Bob Dylan quote in here? Yeah. There's there gonna be something else about magic or about music later on. It's it's. It's I don't like know. the Black Freighter and Watchmen. It's like subtly references what's going on. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it does. <laughs> but it's not used in a in a good way. In, in a my good opinion. way, yeah. Um, we can tell what the hell it's supposed to mean. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. so um, Wong's like, we got we have a meeting to get to you and I. So let's go. And he takes him up all these stairs, and like the building is bigger inside than it appears to be outside, and you know whatever. And there's an ad for Final Fantasy. Nice. And then... Um, that was a double-page ad following an ad. There's an ad. Yeah, and ad. then Literally two three more pages ads. in a row of ads. Yeah. Then a page of story. Then another ad. Then another ad. And, and then, then... Two more ads. Yeah. That is insane. Yeah, I know. Trust me, reading this book was really, really hard. Dear God. <laughs> um... So, by the way, the watch that Wong gave him, or that Steven gave him, totally broke, like, a few weeks after he left, because <laughs> it was cheap and stuff like that. Yeah, well, because it wasn't his. Exactly. So, when... Vincent's Wait. watch. Ah, oh, never mind. When they... Devin. When they Devin, get upstairs, up? there's the old man from the mountains. Oh. Yeah. Who was the ancient one. What a twist! Great reveal, right? Yeah. You didn't see that coming, I did, did not see that coming. No, well, I didn't see that he was going to be in fucking New York. Well, For no, no reason. because usually this whole thing takes place in Tibet. Right. No, he... Oh, we got to do it different. It's got to be the same, only No, different. as we'll find out way later on, he's in the Sanctum Sanctorum. Right now? Yeah. Here, right there. Yeah. That's the Sanctum Sanctorum. Yeah. And he just brought this guy in. In New York. Yeah, so what the Sanctum Sanctorum like, hey, is... hey, super selfish former doctor, you want to come into the Sanctum Sanctorum? Well, yeah, well... All right. There, no there's a reason for that. Like, oh. the Ancient One has a plan. Oh. But the Sanctum Sanctorum is usually Strange's abode. Like, yeah. that's where he lives. Well, and I that's assume they that make he's that going that to work. inherit it. Yeah. But this is not where the Ancient One is supposed to be. No. Whatever. And they don't even mention it now, right until Marvel the end. Max. It's Marvel Knights. Knights. Jeez. Precursor to Marvel Max. So, so then, Sorry. like, so then they have, this is the scene with the music. Because, like, they're like, I, he's like, I don't know what to call you. And he's like, I have, like, you know, Wong goes, he has many names, but he's allowed us to call him the Ancient One. And then the Ancient One says, I can call you Betty, and you can call me Al. What? And then he makes a comment about Paul Simon. <laughs> I, I, I trained really him like too, Paul you Simon. know. 
Yeah. I trained him in music. So. I love American music. Right? So then, like. That's weird. So then they sit down, they have a whole conversation about how, like, Stephen took the wrong path in life and, like, that was the whole problem and that, like, he, like, wasn't supposed to be a doctor, but, like, that's why he fell. Like, he was chasing, he went up the mountain, but he, the other, like, the angel one stopped trying to climb that mountain, but he kept going and then he fell and now his hands are broken. It's an allegory what? or who cares? Uh... So is really? he saying he wasn't supposed to be a doctor or he yes. wasn't supposed to be that kind He's of doctor? Both. Like, you were supposed to be a neurosurgeon. It would have been totally different, <laughs> except your hands still would have gotten destroyed. But, but it would have been... De- <laughs> no, he's saying you weren't supposed to be a doctor. Period. Uh, or whatever, right? That like, doesn't make any sense. Nobody at all it could also be suggested that, that he wasn't supposed to be a doctor It could also be point. that he wasn't supposed to... Well, because remember, he asked him, did you want to be a doctor? Oh, that's And right. he was like, that's a shame that you are one. Hmm. Because in him he sees magical possibilities, okay. right? Like that's weird so, though, because like the whole book they're saying, or earlier in the book they were like alluding that like he was supposed to go back to Tibet and like help those people and be a doctor there. Yeah, the, and now they're saying actually no, he wasn't even supposed to be a doctor. Well, so it doesn't really matter that he didn't go back to all Tibet the to other. Help those people. Yeah, no, all <laughs> the other characters are saying that he should have just helped people. Right. The ancient one saying you shouldn't have been a doctor. You went. Right. That's wrong. The ancient one explains to him that that our reality and heaven and hell and the void all exist on the same space kind of like physical but, space yeah but not everybody can see where things blur and okay. like you know like it, you gotta like some people can see the lines and they can see what's really happening and stuff like that and like and then he goes into this whole lecture about how your eyes see and how it's just light reflecting off of things sure and then i can um, only show you the path but you have to choose to walk it it's funny that you mentioned The Matrix because it's... I'm telling you, this whole book is just influenced by pop culture. Yeah. And they'll, yeah. Mm, mm. <laughs> mm. So, um, you know, he's like, he's like, you have to like open your eyes to see what, what's really going on, essentially. Like, and right. like, Strange is like, Strange goes from being like, I really should have helped people, and you're right. Like, that's what I needed to do was to help people, mm-hmm. to being like, this is a load of garbage, and I'm it's... leaving. Well, hey, if you're not going to fix my hands, then I am out of here. But is he not seeing all this, like, mystical stuff that's happening? Well, he sees, like, literally, like, he sees, like, all of this, and even then he's just like, no, I'm leaving. Because if he didn't... <laughs> if you're not going to fix my hands, I'm just going to go. Right, but because if, like, if he didn't, then the book would be over. Right. Right? He has to be like, this and, like, whole bullshit, have, even though this is totally magic and crazy. But we have three other issues to get through. Well, we so don't even have an leave. antagonist. Well, no! <laughs> all right. <laughs> So, and, and I gotta tell you, can we just point out one thing? This stupid the hair danglies. Yeah, it sucks. God. He looks like God. crap. He does. He looks like he should be in the Highlander TV <laughs> show. Yeah. So, yep. right before he leaves, the angel one touches his forehead, essentially opening his third eye. Because, like, oh. and that is a thing. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like, that's a thing. Whatever. Cool. And then he leaves and he gives Wong a hard time and, like, blah, 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 blah. And, like, he gives Cleo a hard time, and, like... He's giving everybody a hard time. He's giving everybody a hard time, and then he gives the doorman a hard time, who's Baron Mordo. Oh! The like, doorman is Baron Mordo! Trust, and, that, and they make a joke about that, because, like, Baron Mordo's like, yes, the most lowly of positions are for the best pupils, and it's a way of finding humility. Mm. Gonna call you Baron Dordo. <laughs> Nobody, nobody has ever said that. <laughs> so he goes outside, right. and, the, and the door disappears because it's magic, which is, like... Kind of interesting because in the Doctor Strange universe there is a um, bar called the Bar with No Doors, oh. and you have to like know how to get into it essentially. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, it's a cute callback, but then I'm like, oh, it's also just kind of garbage. So who cares? Yeah. And then he almost gets hit by a cab, driven by a demon, and then these kind of cool characters show up who are like four horsemen on oh. motorcycles. Yeah, we never see them again. So I hope you didn't want to see that. <laughs> um, I, I kind of did want to see that. Well, you can't. It looked they like it was a bunch of ghost riders. riders. Yep. Yeah. No. Um, so basically what happens is when he opened up that, like, third the third eye. eye, he sees, like, Oh, shit, he sees another, demons and yeah, shit. Yeah, he sees, like, essentially one of the other dimensions it's that's everywhere going now. on, and they're yeah. all, like, and they, they recognize him, and they're like, you're not supposed to be here, and then, like, this dragon monster tries to attack him, and it's, like, kind of like Ghostbusters, but not, and then there's a... Wait, would the ghost... <sighs> So if he couldn't see it with the third eye, yeah. would the dragon have attacked him anyway? No, no because no, like they say, like you're not supposed to be here. So yeah, like it they like see him. it allows him almost to travel into it yeah. in a way. You know what I mean? Like now he's there. He doesn't and just see it; he becomes part of it. Yeah, like yeah. they like they're aware of him. He's aware of them. There's a lot of awareness happening. <laughs> he's like, hey, whatever you did, close it. Yeah, this could is we weird. just 
Who does not suddenly he runs and he hits a wall and when he does. Like, it brings him back, essentially. So it's like oh. he was having a hallucination, and there's a cop there. And or it's, was And he? it's kind of funny, because like he, the, the cop's like, just get out of here. It's... And then we yeah, cut drunk. over to, to Dr. Devin, who works for a free clinic. He's like the polar opposite okay. of Strange. And he's treating a patient who is, like, experiencing these, like, nightmares where, like, a guy who's on fire comes to talk to him and needs to tell him something. When he opens his mouth, spiders come out of it. Ah! Because why not? Because um, that's gross. Don't forget, Straczynski also wrote Spider-Man. So, wow. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, um, so, like, essentially, like, the guy's covered in scratches because like, he's trying to, like, claw them off in his he's, sleep, like, right? And, like, Probably. he's come to him because he's like, I need drugs. Or he's having night terrors or something. Right, yeah. but you're not really sure if, like, the guy's addicted to drugs or not, mm-hmm. right? And, like, he just is telling him this to get the drugs. Well, except he is covered in fucking well, scratches. Except for that. So then he gives him those, and then when he looks in the bottle, there's he sees spiders. spiders. Oh, oh. This guy doesn't have a chance. No. And he's then, probably sleep depraved. Right? And then... then, then um, Deprived. <laughs> he's depraved, too. <laughs> and then Devin gets a call, and it's, like, from someone saying that, like, Strange is, like, in a bad way, but he's back. Like, he's back in the U.S. Because nobody knows. Like, you know what uh, I mean? That's right. And, yeah. like, what he did was he rented, um, like, an apartment... Or With what hotel? money? I don't know. Well, like obviously no money because it's like a garbage place. Maybe he didn't rent a place. Maybe he's just, I mean, it's a squat. Yeah. No. He, he says when I rented it. He oh. says when I rented it. And when he wakes up, um, he smells like bacon and eggs cooking, and like oh. Clea is there. Oh, so she's helping him out. Well, yeah. And he's like, "What the hell are you doing here?" And she's like, "Well, you see, the ancient one didn't think you got a fair chance to make your choice because like you didn't have all the information. And now that you have all the information, now you'll make your choice about what you want to do. But until that time, I'm going to protect you because there are a lot of people interested in you Why? and what you're doing, right? Why are they interested in him? Because he has a lot of like mystical potential, and who cares, right? Because like, <sighs> okay. So he's like the fact. She's like the fact is the ancient one, like thinks that you can become a nexus. A nexus? Yeah. A because, point between dimensions? Yeah, well, we can't just call him the Sorcerer Supreme. He's gotta we be the key. We have to call him the Nexus. He's gotta be the key to everything. Yeah, he's the one. Oh, God like damn it. Or some shit. Okay. So, God damn. So, she's like... Is that why he can go to the other dimension when the guy puts his, opens his eye or whatever? Oh, look how cool the Ancient One looks. How suave and shit. Ooh, he yeah. looks yellow. Yeah, that's his colors. That's his colors. Okay. So, like, the Ancient One is, like, the Nexus, and he's the guardian between worlds, and he keeps the balance, and he keeps things out, and he's like... He is everything the Sorcerer Supreme should be. He stands at the precipice, and he keeps us safe. He keeps this world safe from everything else out there, and right. then also keeps a balance. But they call him the Nexus. Because the Sorcerer Supreme is stupid. Because Babylon writer and creator J. Michael Straczynski thinks that that's cool. That's better. So how come the Ancient One is doing this? I thought the Ancient One just taught people this stuff. No, the Ancient One has always been the Sorcerer Supreme. Sometimes. <laughs> like in the Doctor Strange, Doctor Doom, Triumph, and Torment book, the title of Sorcerer Supreme is handed down by the Vishanti, which is three deities, Ashtar, Hoggoth, and um, Agamotto, right? right? Sometimes he is just the Sorcerer Supreme and he teaches like the next Sorcerer Supreme to then keep the balance. So Doctor Strange has actually handed over the mantle of Sorcerer Supreme to others, most notably recently uh, Brother Voodoo. Right. Okay. But so, in this, but in it's like this, a thing that you already are? Or, or there's the potential in you to, to become be it. Thing. Well, there's a lot of bacteria <laughs> in the, in you, and we did a count on you, and you have the most of any yeah, Jedi right? we've Is ever it that seen. he like literally like used a fucking nexus meter and determined like you have potential to be the nexus? He looked into his soul and he saw it when they were on the mountain. So he has an intuition about it. Yeah, that's what a normal person. But would like say. Clea's like, that's not gonna happen. Like oh? there's no way that you are are the one because you're like a total fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I don't know what he sees you're in you. You're such a jerk and I you hate you and so God, much. you're so handsome. Make out. Well, she said, no, no. Because she says the problem is, is that like he is not a pure conduit for it. And that's going to be a problem is that yeah. your rage will lead that the magic to do bad things. Oh. Like if you went to the dark side. <laughs> oh, so he could be a bad sorcerer. Well, yeah. He could be a she, dark Jedi. Well, she mentions, she mentions or an the evil fact wizard. that he is the one that killed the, that professor. What? Wait, How? strange? Yeah, remember when he got mad at him and he told yeah. him he would die in these in these walls? What? Yeah, he made By that saying happen. that? Yeah, he Because he's that. like magic? Because he's magic. He was magic. casting a spell? Yeah. No! From the room where all these spells are. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do 
Can we see that happening? <laughs> no. When he cast that spell. Are you getting drunk? No. He never cast it. Yeah. He never actually <laughs> cast it. No, but he wished for it, okay? So now the doctor's dead. Yeah, but he also said he'd come back and see Wong, and that never freaking happened. You can't blame someone for accidentally casting a spell when they don't even know magic's fucking real. Right. Yeah, but she, yeah, but she does. But she does. Yeah. That sucks. God, yeah. What a bitch. So then Devin shows up, and, and Devin and Clea recognize each other. Oh, and they fight? Yeah, and she, what? And she Wait. turns into a bird person. What is that? So Devin's a bad guy? Surprise! Devin, the guy who kept on telling him that he should be a good person and give back to people is a bad guy. Yeah, he's been influencing him to go down the wrong path the entire time. The path of being a doctor. Yeah. And being nice. Trust me, they, they, will, they will literally warp this whole thing to make that work. But not really. And I believe that the scene we see with the guy with the, the scratches on his arms is supposed to be the indicator that Devin is the one giving him nightmares. Even though what? he is not the character Nightmare, who is an established villain of Doctor Strange, whose job is to give people nightmares. They might just be uh, hallucinations. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's totally different. So. So, okay. So what? The idea is that Devin... Devin is fighting for the forces of evil. Right, and so he perceived that Doctor Strange would be a great magician. So he's like, I got to make sure he becomes. No, a he's doctor. like, I'm gonna. No, well, he's like, I'm gonna sway him away from the Ancient One. Right, and he has reason to. Which well, how did he to. know that Doctor Strange was gonna be like a dick and not come back to to bed? Because he made sure of it. Because he was with him in med school. Yeah, but and he swayed him. This is just a huge fight. So then, like, they get on a subway. More Matrix references. Subway. Yeah. Get on the subway. Uh -huh. You know, if only she could have dodged the bullets. And, yeah. yeah. Right? So, like, essentially they're, they're gonna, they have to go to the Ancient One, right? So when they so get they back... they gotta go back to where they were just, they just were. Yeah, so they go back to the Ancient One and he, like, realizes how ashamed he was and that he was wrong and that he needs to help people and how dumb he was and all that stuff, right? And he's like, I need you to teach me, which is, I guarantee you, this is the moment we're gonna see in the movie, except it won't look like this. Teach me. Right. There's always that moment where he needs to learn, right? Yeah. And then he spends five whole weeks learning. <laughs> five weeks? Oh, it's a crash course. Well, yeah, he crams. Well, how does he, he keep uh, Devin from getting him in those five well, weeks? Well, he, he's in the Sanctum Sanctorum, oh. where there's the seal of the Vashanti and all these enchantments mm. and stuff like that. And look at him training in martial arts. Well, yeah, some no, that, okay, that is odd that we see it here. It is understood that often, especially, like, in the oath that we saw it, that, um, that Wong does teach him the way of martial arts, and right. it's a way to, like, calm his mind and just to keep him, him safe and all that stuff. I don't know why they're doing it here. And I don't know why Baron Mordo is the one teaching him. Well, because Baron Mordo and he were actually, like, friends, sort of, and, like, they were always students at the same time of the Ancient One, and it isn't until the Ancient One shows favor to Strange that, like, Baron Mordo is, like... Oh. I couldn't understand it because Strange's only been there for five weeks and he's gonna oh, be like, no, oh, you're the you're the fucking exactly. next It's like, I've been here for years, what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but I've looked inside your soul and I didn't see an interdimensional gateway between the worlds, so, you yeah. know. Sorry to tell you sooner. Sorry you wasted yeah. all your time here. So, you know. But you could, like, go be, but, like, uh, dead but, uh, or bucks or something. You wanna yeah. keep opening like... that door for us, buddy? So, uh, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> the Chosen Ones are talking. Yeah. Bye. Okay. No, Wong can stay, but you gotta go. But you gotta go. And Clea can stay because she's hot. Go. Yeah, but you got you no. You, no you, Your we, devotion we, means nothing to me. Leave. Yeah, I, we already got a bald guy, and it's me. So. <laughs> so I wrote for one bald guy on this magic super team. That's <laughs> the ancient one. That's so the ancient one. Later, so then um, the ancient one teaches him how to uh, astral project. And he goes to see his family, where he sees his mom, and his dad, and Rachel, his sister, and Dave, his brother. You know, David Strange. What? <laughs> no, and no. Then, and then Devin shows up. Ah, uh, right then? Yeah. Why now? Because he's like, he's like been keeping an eye on the family because he's just like, he's like, I'll get strange that way by like playing with his he's family. He's had five and weeks can, to do that. I can tell you're here, strange. I can see your spirit. Well, yeah, he can because he can sense it, right? Because he's magic too, right? Cool. Okay. And then strange like comes back and like, he's like, I have to go and save them. Right. Like, Luke and Yoda. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's like you're like, not ready. The Empire Strikes Back. Stay here and learn, otherwise yeah. you won't be able to. Yeah. Yeah. And then it. Steve goes, okay. So he yeah. does not do what Luke does. Oh, he he's just like, stays? He's like, all right. Oh. I'm sure they're fine. All right. 
To be fair, I think that's the right choice. Well, yeah, what's he going to do? The guy's already there. Right, yeah. So then, like, they talk about Mordo and how powerful he is, and he's like, but everything comes so easily to him, and I'm an idiot, and I'm stupid, and I don't know what I'm doing, and everything's really mm. hard for me to do. And the ancient one's like, here's the thing. You come from... <laughs> here's the thing! Yeah. Shut up! <laughs> I, you're the Nexus, and you're going to like it! So... Everything's really hard for you. Oh, you're yeah? Neo. Yeah? You're Neo, you fucking you're idiot. You're Neo. Do it. You're Luke. <laughs> yep. You're Anakin. Yeah, you're going to magically be the best without putting in very much effort You're Nip Tuck. Who cares? What, do you want me to suck your dick? Christ. <laughs> Not doing that in the ancient one, but I'll get Wong in here. Wong? Um, <laughs> Wong, the ancient one? <laughs> well, Nexus needs a little uh, motivation. The ancient one explains to him, he's like, you come from a Western mentality. So everything for you is straight lines. And you're too rigid. Mm -hmm. But Mordo comes from an Eastern mentality where there are no like lines. So like he's very flexible and fluid, right? So he it comes to him naturally. Mm -hmm. And he's like, then why don't you just let him take over for you? Right. Then what am I even doing here? Right. And the ancient one is like, the problem is when like the, the night winds come, I'm afraid he's going to bend to them. Sometimes you need to be rigid to stand against the fear that ah. will come. And I was like. That's kind of neat. That's okay. a fair point. Right? And Mordo's listening to all of this. Sometimes with you his... need Western medicine and uh, Eastern, like, traditional medicine is bullshit. Right? Ex yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. And, like, Wong's I don't like... That's what they're saying, but... He's just yelling at Wong. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. Then why don't you find someone who's a good blend of rigid and flexible? Right? No. Yeah. You yeah. know, if this Eastern uh, artificial or alternative medicine stuff was real, you could fix my fucking hands, Wong. Yeah. I right. noticed my hands are still goddamn broken. Yeah, no, there's, there's, they're like, they always say that they're like, we can never fix your hand, but we can heal your spirit. And that's always the thing with Dr. Strange. And that is true. That is 100% certain because the idea is that Strange being able to save people in the way that he did only served himself. It certainly helped some mm. people, but he didn't actually serve humanity the way that he wanted to originally or right. he should or he needed to, right? Yeah. So, by healing his spirit, they fix that broken part of the man. They fix the ego. They fix all yeah. of that and in 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 that way he becomes the sorcerer supreme and can actually help humanity far beyond anything that he could do with surgery, right? Sure. Right. So cool. So then, like, again, Mordo's got his, like, hot little ear pressed up against the door. Mm. He hears all of this. Uh, and he's like, mm. And, um, You're then the they... the Nexus, but you can't tell when someone's fucking listening on the other side yeah. of the door. <laughs> but, um, so they, they go no, over... No, the, the Ancient One knows. That's why he's saying yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I want him to hear. Yeah. And he's like, what? <laughs> Who? Uh, nothing. Anyway, uh, as we were saying. Anyway. Now, unbutton your, 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 your top a little bit for <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Um, so then they go over everything, every moment that was key in his life that Devin was a part of. Oh, Devin killed that guy in the car? No, he's like, oh. but he was there, and, and like, he... I was there! Like, Devin was there the night you, like, blamed him, and he egged you on, and, like, he was there the night you went skiing, and, like... That's right, he was there. Yeah. What, so, but he didn't tell him to fucking go skiing yeah, at night. Yeah, but he fed into his ego. Like, that's that's what they're trying well, to get Did he say, to? like, you could totally ski at night, you know? <laughs> that's You're really the, good at skiing. That is the problem with this, because <laughs> that's what they wanted to have happened, but they were so busy trying to hide that from you that they, they... They didn't set it up! They didn't set it up at all! So they didn't earn this. No! No, There's it's like here. they want it's to like knock... a retcon, but the story just fucking happened. That's right. It's like they want to knock all the dominoes down, but then they miss, and there's a gap, and somebody just ran over and was like, eh. <laughs> "There, see, it all works. Yeah. It totally works. It's fun." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's what happened. God damn it. So then, then Bar oh, Bar but it's but Devin was there. It's a Sherlock Holmes so mystery. It it's the fact that <laughs> yeah. no, yeah, this is the linchpin that we that never told you. you. That's exactly that yeah. we st we're revealing yeah. now. It's that, like the fugitive. So sorry, you mean a good story because Sir Arthur Conan Doyle knew. God. Anyway, yeah. so I can't even finish that. Um, so Baron Mordo, of course, then contacts the, like the, the dark dimension. Okay. He has this whole conversation with them, and like he's just like, "I was an idiot for trusting the ancient one," and blah blah blah. And yep. they're all like, "You're great, and you should just <laughs> so nice. You should just help us yeah. kill the ancient one because if we kill the ancient one, then we can come in to your world, and we'll just take it." Yeah, and then you'll be whatever. You'll be Sorcerer Supreme or whatever. And hey, you won't care because you're, you're the flexible. Nexus. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, you're, yeah. Just, you're, just, you're, well, cool. Well, you're cool. And then we'll be in charge, and then things will be better for you. In exactly. Some vague, unspecific way. Right? And that's that's pretty much it, right? So he gives him, like, the stone that's going to help. This is sorely stone thing, right? No. Oh. So. Is that, like, the opposite of the Ag Agamotto? It's an amulet here. It's the anti Agamotto. What? No. What? No. Because it's round. Oh, my God. Then, wouldn't it be a square? Yeah. <laughs> should, 
<laughs> It'd be like a foot or something. No, shouldn't it just be a line? A line? Anyway. Yeah, it's not a three-dimensional line. So oh, yeah. Mordo is charged with killing the Ancient One. And then okay. if that fails, he'll use the, the swirly stone, right? He'll, he'll hypnotize him. Just look at this for a while. And he's just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Damn <it. laughs> So the Ancient One knew this was going to happen, essentially. Like, he knew he was coming, right? And they have this stupid conversation. It's not really stupid. To be fair, this, this conversation's kind of okay. They talk about, like, he's like, you promised me power. Hmm. And he's like, the ancient one's like, I gate knowledge is power. Yeah. You have lots of power. <laughs> That's pretty Thanks, much it. Schoolhouse Rock. That's literally what he says, <laughs> yeah. right? And then they have a lightsaber fight. Whoa! What? The conjure swords? No. Light swords? Okay, he has a bow staff, first yeah. of all. Yeah. But yeah, it's a it's saber. a light it's a yeah. Yeah. Well, there is a lightsaber that's a bow in yeah. uh Episode three was, No, that's a dual bladed. Episode three lightsaber. was coming out soon. Oh, so, so you know. Yeah. Or out already. So then they have a huge fight, and like he beats Baron Mordo because he's the ancient one, right? Because he's Yoda. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, he's flipping around and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what Yoda's supposed to do. He's jumping around. He is jumping around like a goddamn bouncy ball. And then he summons Dormammu. Oh. Because as we all know, Baron Mordo typically ends up becoming a pupil of Dormammu, so this is in keeping with. Your Doctor Strange sure. continuity, sure. Uh, but he summons it within the walls of the Sanctum, thus getting past all the enchantments somehow. Um, that was that stone. Yeah. So then all the demons show up. I like this moment because Stephen's like, "Oh, uh, uh, you, you guys seeing this?" So it's, the uh, wait. So Dormammu was like the leader of these demons. Dormammu is um, the oftentimes the ruler of the dark dimension. Okay. And he always has um, his <laughs> eyes set on our dimension he wants okay. to rule ours as well he's power hungry he, he likes that um he, so why wasn't the plan to just summon them right immediately like why not just start with that because then we wouldn't get a cool lightsaber fight between baron mordo and the ancient one okay and because usually um baron mordo betrays the ancient one ah. so we had to fit that in yeah and presumably the ancient one could probably kick their asses i guess yeah if he could kill them first that would be they less right. work for them to do when right. they came through but basically Without um, ever really telling us this, um, we discover that Devin was Dormammu the whole time. What? Devin was Dormammu? That's what they indicate. They never say it out loud. But that's what they indicate. And he's been swaying him this entire time so that the Ancient One would not have someone like Stephen Strange to follow in his steps. Because without the Ancient One, again, he could come into this reality. And let's just say, for example, either he died and nobody got that role, right. or he died and Baron Mordo got that role. He could right. just sway Mordo. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. fine. The plan right. is like, whatever. So, Devin became Dormammu, or has been Dormammu this whole time? Yeah, Dormammu that was like, like... disguised himself as Devin. Yeah. Okay, so... So Devin the built ancient... a practice. The Ancient One has not really been doing his job very well if Dormammu has just been traipsing yeah, around all reality. Hang on, hang on. I want to point out the fact that if that is if that is what we were to believe, and that is what this very much indicates, yeah. and I could be wrong, he could just be a demon. And even if he is just a demon, that means that he went to medical school, <laughs> he built a practice, he kept that practice open, he has an apartment, yeah. he has a staff that he insured. <laughs> and after Doctor Strange for three years has already been defunct and traveling the world and loses his fortune, he's still like, I gotta treat all these people. Yeah. I gotta give this guy spider nightmares. Right, he's like... I have an agenda. But he probably doesn't even intentionally give people spider nightmares. They're, just, they're so close to him that it just happens. He can't stop Oh, God. That. That's like Dear diary. thing. Another That's one fell was susceptible to my <laughs> terrible influencing powers. I don't know what I'm going I to do. I wish I could turn this all off. On the other hand, the practice is doing quite well. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I have managed to, you know... But don't, yeah. it's also a free clinic. Um, he, he opened yeah. a free clinic. Well, yeah, because no one's going to question that. Oh my god. Yeah, if he stays in the gutters. So, exactly. so then they have this huge fight, right? And everybody's awesome. got... Er, and, and, and Wong's got magic... What? Yeah, Wong's using magic. Oh, well, yeah. Wong's using he's... magic size, and Clea is Everybody's got magic. Everyone's D's. just the same character. Yeah, what is that a joke? It's... She's holding double Ds? No, remember, she had those blades before, but now they just yeah. decided to draw them like this. Um, So they, they fight a whole bunch, and they've, they've got the Ancient One, and they're like, you gotta go... You gotta, you gotta go save him, you gotta Steven. Fight. You, gotta, you gotta, you gotta punch him well, real hard. And she try, he tries, and he fails, and and he's like, it's no good, Clea. Clearly, you're the superior fighter. You have to go save him. Yeah. And she's like, no, you have to do it. And he's like, but you didn't. She's like, I believe in you. And he's like, you didn't think I was the one. 
He says the one? You said you didn't think I was the uh, one. Wow. And she's like, she's like on the nose. no, I was told that I would fall in love with the one. I was like, literally, you should see me turning this page. The, like when I was reading, I was like, mm. um, okay, no. What she says is she's like, prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. She like dares him to do it. Okay. She's yeah, she's like, like, prove me wrong. <laughs> but like, here's my thing. Like, if you're in this situation and you are clearly the better fighter. Yeah. Shouldn't you just take care of it and deal with this later? Not because some it's, part of her believes that I guess that he is the one, right? And she needs him. So then Baron Mordo and Strange have a have a lightsaber fight yeah. in, in front of Dormammu, with much his, like Luke Skywalker and right. Darth Vader in front, in front of, of the, the Emperor. Emperor. Um, the big axe and two swords. She's like, yes, yes. <laughs> no. Whoever wins, I'll m make my pupil. Right. Shit. And then they throw in this part about how, like... Why does he just help Bear Mordo? I don't understand. Because he just stands there. He's just like, well, if you can't even take Bear Mordo, how do you expect to take me? I'm Dormammu. Mm, mic drop. What is this? What's happening Oh, here? well, Dor Dormammu was like, don't you get it? Like... Like after the ancient one's gone, we're gonna we're gonna come in because all this time that people have been doing rituals at like for entertainment for shows and movies and stuff like that, or for games like doing no. a Ouija board, like with the no. call has gone unanswered, but we've always been scratching at the door. That's scratching at the door. <laughs> and this time we're gonna come in. <sighs> And wreck your house. Yeah. God damn it. We're gonna have a giant kegger. And then like e <laughs> a will flash for an extra little kegger. <laughs> and then everybody fails. Oh. And Dormammu's gonna kill the Ancient One, and he's like, "It's time to die, everybody!" And the Ancient One is just like, "That's right, it's time for me to die." And then he transfers his power into Stephen Strange. Uh. So Stephen Strange never actually has to really learn magic <laughs> as much as he just gets a whole lot of powers. <laughs> Right. And then he changes his clothes. So he inherits it like the one or the uh, the in immortal in yes. Highlander. Yeah. Except except Strange doesn't even have to kill him. Someone no, I... else killed him and he passed his power on to a different person. Yeah. And then he and then Strange it's... like beats everybody and he sends him back to the dark dimension. He's so super powerful. Yeah, because he's super badass and cool. Because he's super badass and cool. So Wait, but what? No, that's bullshit. What that's is... that's literally how that goes. It's just, oh, I got all the power. Oh, you're banished. Yeah. Yeah. I I had all the power before, and I couldn't beat you. But when I give it to Stephen Strange, he could beat you because yeah. he's the nexus. Right. Or I was the nexus. Or, you're now, you're now. the one. You're not the one yet until you get all of his powers, though. Right. Yeah, and I. I and I, he's young I, and virile. Yeah. Or they were trying to do a thing where they're like, I needed him to believe, but they didn't put that in here, so that doesn't work either. It's, why does he change his outfit? Because that's the outfit the magic... of the Nexus. Oh. But fucking... No, because the Ancient One didn't wear that. He well, wore something totally different. Yeah, but remember in that picture he had the yellow one? He had the yellow jacket oh. on? So was it like that? Yeah, it was kind of like it was, that. No, it was literally this outfit. Okay. With the oh, vest. Oh, yeah, with the weird like, oh, yeah. With scarf the, thing. With the dumb. Anyway. But it was. But he's red. Because Stephen Strange's color well, is Well, yeah, because the fact that the, the cloak Ranger. of levitation is usually red, now it's a jacket, or who cares... So then the ancient Cause, one. Cause fuck you, that's why. The ancient one isn't dead. He's like between life and death. He's like yeah. Schrodinger's ancient You can wanted. kill me! Except you won't. He's neither. So then, like, Clea's like, I'm gonna take him back with me to my dimension. Because she right. is from another dimension. But right. they tell you that right at the end. So she's technically from, I guess, the dark dimension or not. No, she was an angel person, right? Or the person of light? Yeah, or not. She calls the dark ship, or whatever it's called. The Black Freighter? The Night Ship. I'm sorry. She calls the Night Ship. Like the Night Nurse. The night and like this this like junk shows up. Ready to sail. It's on the Night Ship. We cannot fail. And That's then good. and then they kiss for no reason. Oh. And she's like, You don't understand all the sacrifices that you have to make and blah 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 blah. And then Wong's still there because he didn't go a to huge ad and then Because he didn't go to the Undying Lands. And, he, and Strange is like, and Strange is like, you didn't go. And he's like, it's not my time. Or and look like Wong's like, it's not my time. I'm gonna just hang out with you. He's like, we'll no, be best I tried to wait. Hold the boat. Yeah. <laughs> well, because it's like, because they developed the Wong Strange relationship so much in this right? whole book. Right? Right? It's like they were inseparable. So then, like, Strange is like, Wong's like, don't worry. The the sanctum's under construction. It'll be done in, in no time. We'll fix it up. And he's just like, that's okay. I have to go see my family. And Wong's like, 
all right, you'll just go and see what, what's up. Yeah, they're dead. So then he goes to see his family, and, like, he goes to their house, and there's, like, these other people who live there, and, like, they don't know who the hell he's talking about. And then he looks in the phone book, and he finds a thing for R. Strange, and he finds her, and it's Rachel Strange, and, like, she's a drugged-out paraplegic in a wheelchair, because now it's a, it's a wonderful life. Because when he became the Nexus, he was removed, essentially, from everything. And so... What? Okay. This, this is... Hang on. No. This is, literally, this came out of this comes out of nowhere. At no point does anyone tell you like if you make this choice, you have to. You're like your everything will change, and you will forever change. It'll be like you never existed. Yes, and it'll forever change the lives of those around you. And so you have to make a decision between keeping your family together, safe and healthy, and saving the world. Because that would be cool to make a person make that choice. Right. Right. But instead, to, you just trick them. Yeah, because you just didn't tell them. Right. So well, we finished the book, and then we're like, "Oh, add this on at the end." Well, no, because remember that picture? Yeah. All right. All right. So what happened was not that anyone told us this. Rachel Strange found out, fell down a mountain one day, and Stephen was there, and he got her to the hospital in time, so she didn't lose the loss of her legs. Oh. But since he didn't exist, she lost the loss. Like she lost her legs essentially, and her family couldn't handle the stress of having a paraplegic daughter, so they ended up like going to various, like, like corners of the room, and the father turned to his work, and the mother turned to alcohol, and they divorced, and who knows what happened to Dave, or if they even had Dave, and then she ended up getting into drugs, essentially, and now she lives here, and so what he does is he's like, I could probably fix this, but I can't walk away from my responsibilities, so I'll leave her some money on the dresser, and I'll leave. Like a prostitute. <laughs> So, she didn't do does that also mean that Wong can't talk and is, like, you know, traumatized from never being healed by Dr. No, Strange? he's totally fine. Probably because who cares? Because <laughs> fuck you, that's why. Right? Does that, mean that, does that mean that the doctor's alive? Yeah, that he never killed that guy in the oh, car. Oh, yeah, he should be. Right? Or that old woman is really wrinkly because he never did the plastic <laughs> surgery on her. She should be. Right? Or those two twins never went to that Alps place. <laughs> No, it's just his family, or whatever. And then it ends literally with him going back to the sanctum and just being like, "I'm, I'm alone, mostly because Wong is here." And then he Ooh, sits. I barely even know. And then he sits in a chair Ooh. like a badass. And if, he looks like super evil, right? For some reason. And he's just like, "It's totally fine, but maybe one day I'll see that hot chick Clea again, and won't that be cool?" Uh, so you don't like this? That is fucking That's weird. crazy. Did they do anything with this after they continue the stories of Strange? No. No, of course not. No, no. Like, no. again, like they, this is... you. I've never seen this continuity again. Thank God. I know. That is dumb. Thank God there's an ad for the Jade Empire. I was going to say, there's an ad on the back of this for Crusade from the creator of Babylon 5. Oh my God! <laughs> the Ancient One is in it, and yeah. Wong is in it, the, and Clea like, is in it. Like, barest sketch of it. Right, but like, and like, random things that do happen. Like, like, Baron Mordo still betrays the Ancient One, yeah, and Baron Mordo yeah. still becomes a disciple of Dormammu, but Stephen Strange loses his hands to a skiing accident. Right. Well, wouldn't Night it be, skiing. Wouldn't it be great if instead instant. of coming up with a story that I had to tell about Dark Strange, right. if I could just retell his origins, but make it all like, you know, melodramatic and edgy. And, right? That's ooh. that's really what it is. And like, at least, at least he didn't lose his hands to a snowboarding accident. <laughs> he really should have. Right? Oh, he's going night snowboarding. Yeah. This is so uncool that he, he goes skiing. He lost his hands to an ice. Because nobody skis anymore. Who skis? Yeah. Who uses two skis? Thank you guys again so much for watching. Again, check the description box down below if you want to pick up Strange in its collected volume. We'll put the link right there. And also, you know, like, subscribe. You know, hang around. Go check out all the cool stuff that Comic Pop's doing. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. I'm Tiffany. I'm ben. Ethan. Shit. <laughs> Leave it. All right. Leave it. That's right. That's it. We're done. Bye.